Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's Mike here at Game for Scratch. And today we are looking at yet another asset in the Unity Games and Game Dev Assets Humble Bundle. Now, this one is still running for another two weeks. So if you want to grab it, you've got plenty of time. I said it when I first did a video on this bundle. I said I would cover the most requested assets. I've already covered one of them, uh, the U Modeler asset down. Uh, where did you go? Right here. So I've done hands on with that one. And today, what we were looking at is Clazels. I think that's how you say that. It's pixels and clay. Clazels. Yeah, I'll go with that. So if I'm saying that wrong, hey, it's a made up word. You can't really blame me on this one. So, what is Clazels? Well, basically, it brings claymation or clay modeling to the world of Unity. If you're an old fart like me, this looks a heck of a lot like Meta Balls. If you remember Meta Balls, they were used back in the days of Caligari True Space or Imagine 3D applications back in the day or even Lightwave to do organic style modeling. They're, they're kind of a composite or Boolean object of clayish blobs. Pretty straightforward on approach. And this is the one we are looking at today. Now, the, the Humble Bundle right now, this is at the uh, $25 USD tier. You get Clazel, but of course you get everything else here as well. So if you like Clazels, it is worth picking up. Now, interestingly enough, it is also currently on sale over at the Asset Store. So if you want to pick up just Clazels, you can get it for $14.50. I think that's a USD. It doesn't actually say, which is a little annoying, uh, but I'm pretty sure that's USD. So uh, for pretty much half of the price of the entire uh, bundle to this tier, you can get just the single asset. There's also a couple more down here, but if you've already got everything that you want in this asset bundle, uh, maybe you just want to pick it up individually. So anyways, I will link the Humble down below. I will link the asset store page for Clazels down below, uh, and I will link the U modeler that we've already covered. Also, let me know if there's anything else on here that you want to see covered. I've still got two weeks left. This is a great deal. So I'm going to try and focus on and show you guys what's here. I've got a couple requests for this one, a couple of requests for this one, and I got a couple of requests for FPS Builder. So let me know anything you're specifically interested in. Oh, and Peak as well. Uh, so if there's something here you really want to see, I may combine them into a single video, but uh, do let me know what else you're interested in, and I'll try to cover it before that two weeks is up to help you with your buying decision. Decision. All right, without further ado, let us jump in. And the nice thing is this one is a pretty straightforward one, so it shouldn't take too long to show you this guy. Really kind of straightforward. Here you can see this is a Clazel. Uh, this is basically a compound clay object. It is made in the container. So here you see you've got a uh, Clazel container C guy. And what this is, is a bunch of clay chunks. So you see over here, you got the ability to add clay. We'll show you this from, uh, from pieces later on. You can also hit the P key and pick individual pieces of clay. I don't actually know how it works. It's not working on mine for some reason. Uh, or you can grab them down here. Now, the neat thing is, so if I grab one of the cubes, let me show, get the, try to grab that one in the forehead. I'm not sure why picking isn't working. Okay. There we go. All right, so see here in the forehead, See how it moves, and it automatically just blobs into whatever's around it. That is essentially what you're doing with clay. So you're trying to create, um, you know, organic clayish shapes. So if you're trying to recreate, like, you know, Wallace and Gromit kind of look, this is what your app is all about. At the same time, uh, we've also got the ability to do some animation. Fairly simple. Let me try to find the right one. All right, give me one sec. I actually think it's this one right here. All right, here you go. So here you can see actually some animation in action. So I'm gonna go ahead and play this. It's gonna run quite slow, but that's kind of by design. It's the code behind the scenes. So this isn't a slow frame rate. This is a slow update. So you can see you can actually animate these objects over time. And the way this is being done is it's using code. So here is the, the update on this one. And all they're doing in the update is they're getting the clay objects. So that they're, you're getting the clay materials that we're dealing with in the clay container. And you're just finding. So we got hair animation, clay board, and wave animation. And they're just sort of moving them around. And as you can see, the runtime actually automatically updates it. So I don't know where that went away. It's moving the various different pieces. So uh, wave, board, and dude. Each one is being slowly moved by the script. And then the clay engine behind the scenes automatically updates it. So you can do some pretty uh, cool stuff in that regard. At the same time, you can actually set up more of a traditional rigged approach. So here we're going to see uh, this is instance animation. So here you can see a whole lot of characters, all based off the same. So you got a bunch of, you got 50 instances here of this guy right here. So here is your character, very straightforward. So you've got a procedural rig that consists of a left foot, a right foot, and the hip. And then we've got the clay char the character that we are modeling. So you can see, again, pretty straightforward. It's this shape here. This shape is a compound shape built up of all these various different shapes. And then you've got a left and a right leg. And with that rig in place, we can have multiple instances of our clay objects. And here you see them walking around. Now, I got to say, there is something nightmare fuel about this scene, by the way. I don't know what it is. It might be the googly eyes, uh, but I, I, I just primarily find this terrifying. But as you see, you can uh, you can instance, you can do animation, you can do a somewhat traditional rig with these guys as well. And I'm going to showcase kind of how you get up and going. It's pretty simple for the most part. Once you have bought this thing, by the way, if you buy it, 
On Humble, what they do is they give you a key, you redeem the key on Unity, and then it is available in your asset. So once you've got it there, you go in here to Windows, go to the Package Manager. I love this feature. This was added in 2019.2, I think, so you can now get your assets. Just go up here to My Assets, and you will find it in the list. You may have to do a load more if you've got a bunch of assets, but basically, find it, pick it, download it and then import it into your project. You have to import Clazels into each project you are going to use it in. The cool thing is once you've got it here, you're going to notice we ran through a bunch of examples that they've got going on. So we got a number of different examples here. Uh, go back to the root of the Clazels install. You'll have this simple readme. You can see over here tells you how to um, do various things, the things that have changed and so on, but a very quick getting started guide here. And then over here, it says hit P to pick and select. And for some reason that does not work for me. Hopefully it's just a bug or I'm an idiot. I'm not really sure, but it should be easier to pick individual pieces without having to pick them before over here. There's also documentation available here in PDF format. It is in the root directory. So I think I double clicked that. There you go, kind of walks you through using this. Uh, Clasels is really simple and straightforward. Also got a bit of a, a rundown on how the API works so you can you know programmatically handle it, like what we saw in that one example with the surfboard. And again, as you move things around, the clay engine will automatically update them. So if you're trying to make a, an amorphous blob or um, something really organic but dynamic in your game, Clasel might actually be the solution to it, to that individual entity. So everything doesn't have to be Clasel. So you can have a single Clasel object in your scene, but really ultimately once you get in here, you want to create your own. Let's go here, create a simple scene. I think this is empty. All right, so what I'm going to do is show you two ways to create a Clasel object. The first one is pretty simple. Go right here, go game object, 3D object, and Clasel container. And there you go. We've got an object here right now. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Another way you could do it is you could come in here, go to game object, create an empty game object. And then if you go into the Clazels directory, you're going to find a number of different scripts. The key one you want is clay container. And now you are good to go as well. So either of those, you end up the same end result. It's this clay container that is key. This is where you start composing your clay objects. So let's go ahead and add some clay into our world. There we go. Simple. We've got a cube in our world. So now I could go ahead uh, back to my root object right here and I could add more clay. So now we have two cubes and you notice how when they work together, they start blobbing and handling each other as they go. Uh, you've also got the ability to control the, the shader on it. Does it cast shadows? Uh, does it animate? Um, and then for each individual clay object, you can set the detail level. So you can see it there. So we can really crank that up if you want super high precision going on. Uh, we've also got the ability on our clay to control some things. So let's grab one of these clay cubes so we can set the color of our clay. Like so, you can set each individual clay piece individually. I really wish, oh, P finally worked there. Okay, so sometimes it works. Uh, let's set this one to blue. So there you go. You can have them blob together if you so wish. You've also got the ability obviously to specify the type. Uh, so we could have it be uh, a cylinder and uh, a cube in this particular case. And you see as they interact with each other, they kind of, uh, the lighting isn't showing it that well. They blurb together. So at the same time, we could just keep adding objects. By the way, you can have uh, multiple uh, clay containers uh, independently. You can also have them nest together and so on. Uh, so once you're here, again, just keep adding clay. Uh, here, let's go ahead and make this one a sphere. And then drop this over here. And you can see they kind of just blurb and blob. And you can see it kind of as it's pulling out the blob there. And you can do this, you can sort of animate all these objects together and make some really neat work. At the same time, let's do this from scratch. I come back up here, let's go create another clay object. So again, 3D objects, clay's little container, and we'll go ahead and we'll add some clay to it. Your clay can also be spline based. So now I got to find that guy. There it goes. All right. So let's there we go. So we got a spline collection of boxes. This went ahead and created this one. Now this this UI could be a little bit nicer because we've got different spline points that we're controlling. Uh, but we could just go ahead and say, okay, well, cube instead, we'll make it sphere. So it's a collection of spheres that goes on or toruses or hexagons. And I also find, yeah, it's up again here. So let's turn this into, let's go low this time. So there you see, if you're going for the kind of a blobby, really blobby look, you can do it that way. Uh, but then we can also control, so I go back in here, we can grab each individual spline point and we can move it around and you can see it's going to affect your clay accordingly. So they are going in a long blob of splines and we can move the spline points around. By the way, when I created this, we could have created multiple splines, but this is probably how you would do, uh, I don't know, if you wanted to create a tail, um, you could do it this way. I don't know if I can scale or if I have to scale individually each individual object. Let's see, actually see if what happens if I do a scale on it. 
I can. So if you wanted to have a tapering tail, you could easily do it using spline points like so. And again, you can nest objects. So I could actually create another one inside of here like so and so on. So I have them separate or independent or different and so on. Or you can also have them exported out to a mesh and controlled. Like once you've got a, an object you like, you can export it out and then, you know, use a conventional rig to animate it and so on. Yeah, that's it. That is ultimately Clazels. Very straightforward one. It basically gives you the ability to uh, model objects and you can actually get, oops, that's not the one I wanted anyway. So let's cancel out right here. Don't save. You can do a uh, much more detailed precision looking objects like so. So it doesn't all have to be really lo-fi objects. This is also created using Clazels. Um, so you can get better looking stuff as a result. And as you saw from the earlier example, you can animate this over time. So if you're looking for a tool to make something clay or blobby or organic that you want to animate and have it blob and change over time, uh, Clazels could be a good fix for you, a good fit for you, I meant to say, sorry. Uh, it is again available in the Humble, oh, I can't tab today, let's get back there, all right. So it is in the Humble bundle, this runs for another two weeks, it is at the uh, $25 USD tier, or you can pay half that, you know, I guess a little bit less, than, a little bit more than half that at $14.49 USD, currently 50% off. But as you can see, at its full retail price, it is basically the, um, price of the whole bundle at that tier. So it, it's a bit of a no-brainer to go through the bundle route, but I'll let you pick how you want to spend your money. So it's it's nice. It's constantly updated. The last release date was, uh, like, what was that, uh, five days ago. So it, it is one of those projects that it, it's not abandoned. If you're wondering if that's why it's on sale, nope, still being updated. It's very focused in what it does. It's volumetric sculpting uh, with, you know, uh, dynamic control, dynamic workflow. So you can uh, create a very interesting results out of it. Uh, but in terms of the modeling workflow, you're, you're probably going to find something like Blender, Max or Maya funner to work with or ZBrush or et cetera. Uh, but in terms of actually integrated directly into Unity, this works really well. And if you're trying to get those dynamic effects, it could be a good choice. So anyways, that is Clazel. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Also, let me know what other projects here interest you. Again, I've had a couple requests on that one. A lot of these are pretty straightforward for the most part, you know, straight old asset stuff. It's not really uh, that difficult to figure out. I've had a couple on this one. Uh, I'm not even sure what's in there, but if there's anything else in here you really want to see covered, Peak is another popular one. This is the one. I was trying to come up with the name of it. This was the um, visual scripting system that uh, Unity bought. Uh, th this is the company that made it. So they kept making Peak. And then another one I'm pretty sure I'm going to cover is FPS Builder. But if there's something else here you really want to see covered in video like this one, do let me know. Comments down below, and I'll do my best to cover it. Anyways, that is it. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of Clazel. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.